Hey folks, Coach Patrick back with yet another Coach Podcast here, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about multiple marathon madness, okay? Got a great question from Laura out in Fort Collins, Colorado, about what I thought of her ability to bounce back quickly from a marathon and do a repeat one. Um, you know, many of us have been bitten by uh, the endurance sporting bug myself, I am, and I am no exception by any means, um, but we all have our limits, and we all have our special abilities, our own superpowers as well. Um, and for the vast majority of us, hitting, hitting multiple marathons or consecutive marathons um, well um, is, is very hard to do. Uh, it's possible to do, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how, how that works and let you sort of make up your own mind whether or not it's right for you. But in general, I will tell you that I usually recommend that after a full training cycle, right, four months, five months, six months, maybe more, and then culmin culminating in a really tough mental and physical endeavor, the odds of you being able to bounce back in the next four to six weeks and hit another marathon are pretty slim. Um, and so uh, unless you're really trying to boss and qualify or there's some sort of special extenuating circumstances like a, a special trip or a previous commitment you've made, um, in general, I frown upon that type of activity. Your body needs that time to recover, to, um, to bounce back. I think about fitness being incredibly elastic. Um, and I know people feel like, well, oh, I didn't run today, so I'm already slower than I was yesterday. And I really encourage people to think about uh, the running fitness or the, or the marathon fitness, you know, that peak fitness that you have, to think of it, you know, as, as, like, as like a bench press. You know, if I work out in the gym for a year and I get my bench press up to 250 pounds, if I don't lift weights tomorrow, I don't walk around saying my bench press is 247.5 pounds because I didn't work out today. Um, my bench press is still 250, and I'm going to tell people probably for the rest of my life, my bench press is 250, right? Uh, but um, as, as a runner, as an endurance athlete, since you can't tangibly measure that fitness without going out and doing another event, you intrinsically feel that loss right away, uh, and that's not the case at all. So um, all of that aside, got to look right away, but I want you to know where I'm coming from. Multiple marathons are hard to do, but can be done. So in general, the way that I see most of it working out is people... Um, are trying to Boston qualify, for example, and they have they have a key race, say, in um, early October, and they have a backup race in, in mid-December, four to six weeks later. What that typically means is if you're running in October and you're not going to hit your time and you realize that early enough in your day, you know, you can, um, you can basically shut things down, finish a race or, or DNF, whatever your, whatever your uh, comfort level is, and, and then recover quickly and then get to get take that same fitness and put it into the next race. Essentially, that marathon effort then becoming your last long run before that next marathon. Once you get outside of that six weeks window, that's when things start to get a little sketchy because um, that long run effort, all of a sudden, um, you can't hold on to that fitness for really much longer than say six weeks to your next race. And as a result, you're you're going to be looking to do some other running or significant running. Of some distance in that in, the, in that intermediary space, and that in and of itself requires you to be recovered from the first race. So if you're looking at an eight-week window, well, you're going to want to do a long run in the five weeks out, but you've only three weeks out from your previous race, which you just ran, and you've been recovering. So you've been recovering, and then you got to go out and do a 20-miler on recover on legs in the middle of recovery. Hard to do. Um, so in general, if you're planning on stacking marathons, or you run one marathon and you want to run another one, I encourage you to err on um, almost a more aggressive side, which is so unlike me, for those of you who know me, on the more aggressive side and have you put an, another marathon within that four to six weeks window, knowing that you're primarily going to be recovering from the first one, sharpening um, your skills, doing a couple, you know, tempo runs, marathon pace, half marathon pace type efforts, and then going right into that next race without another long run effort because that previous marathon counts. Um, it's when people um, attempt, like I said, to sustain that long fitness or add more long runs between those two big runs, between those two big marathons, that things start to hit a real rough spot. So if you fall within that four to six weeks window, I give you the blessing as long as you are healthy and mentally ready for that challenge. Um, I have found in general that um, many people do not appreciate just how depleted your body is from an emotional, physiological standpoint until you hit you know, mile 16 or 18 or 20 in that second marathon when you would normally, you know, reach down in the toolkit and pull out something special to get you going, and you hit that point a little earlier than you might in a normal race, you reach down into the toolkit to find something, and you left it at home. There's nothing there. 
Um, you really need to be on top of your nutrition and your recovery and your pacing in that second marathon because it is by no means going to be any easier. Um, the memory of your most recent marathon in place should allow you, um, you know, mentally, strategically, um, to uh, be a little more efficient on race day, but it's certainly not going to be any easier. So, hope that answers your question, Laura. Best of luck to you if you are indeed going to run um, the full in Arizona. I wish you the best, and everyone else looking to do that double, remember, think four to six weeks. All right, Coach Patty from Marathon Nation signing off. I'll see you guys.